So this is one of the biggest questions asked when moving to the Philippines. Should you invest your earnings into a condominium or instead rent? As somebody who has studied real estate in the Philippines for many years, I can tell you that purchasing real estate is likely a good idea as long as certain conditions are met. The thing is, many YouTubers and bloggers will tell you that buying a condominium in the Philippines is a bad idea, but this isn't always the case. However, I would stress that it's not as financially profitable as it may seem from the outside, so there are a few categories that we need to talk about. The first area of discussion is how will you be financing this condo? As we know, with real estate, you make your money when you buy, which means your purchasing price directly affects your profitability. But not only this, as this question also expands to will you be paying in full or will you be taking out a home loan? Contrary to popular belief, foreigners can get a loan in the Philippines. Alternatively, some foreign investors seek a loan from their home country so that they're able to purchase a condominium in the Philippines. However, the loan interest will affect profitability if you're renting out your condo each month, so this is one area to consider. The next category dives into your investment goal. This is asking the big why questions. Why are you deciding this location? Why is this condominium better than another? And ultimately, why are you investing? The latter question is the most important. If you're purchasing this condominium for a base or somewhere to live in or for your family in the future, it can be an excellent investment. But if it's solely for financial reasons, this can be slightly more challenging. Many foreign investors have a financial goal to purchase a condominium to later sell in 10 or 15 years. But what many real estate agents don't tell you is that it can be extremely challenging to sell a second or third hand condominium in the Philippines, especially due to the developments and rapid speed of new builds. Think about it like this, as a buyer you could buy a brand new condominium in the Philippines for 2.5 million pesos or a second hand unit for 3.4 million pesos. On the face value it's clear to see which is more desirable. This is not to say that it's impossible to sell a second or third hand unit in the Philippines in the next 10 or 15 years. Of course, if the unit is unique or in an accessible location, it can be in high demand. But the Philippines real estate industry has changed a lot, so this is another area to consider if you're planning to sell long term in the future. The third category involves added extras. These extras can be just about anything, and this includes increased condo dues, taxation, or additional fees your condominium will need, such as insurance. Insurance. These can eat up at your profits and unfortunately, as the real estate market is competitive, investors must carefully calculate how much this investment will truly cost them. But there is light at the end of the tunnel and investors, both local and foreigners, do make money in real estate. This will naturally depend on your investment strategy and the unit. Some investors buy during the pre-building stages to flip once the building has been completed, other investors purchase multiple units in a popular location and use the power of leverage to become profitable. There are many different considerations and strategies that you can implement to make money in real estate in the Philippines. If you are interested in this, please let me know and I'll do a full video on this topic. So as we know, the ultimate question is, should you rent or buy a condo in the Philippines as a foreigner? If you want to purchase a condominium so that you have somewhere to live or other non-financial reasons, then purchasing a condominium in the Philippines is a fantastic idea. On the other hand, if you're purchasing a condominium solely for financial reasons, this can work out well. However, some investors don't make the money that they expect. So doing your own research is always necessary. Renting a condominium in the Philippines is a topic that we have explored. So take a look at this video if you are looking for some extra resources. Naturally, as I aim to keep these videos short and to the point, we haven't explored every single area of real estate. However, if you have any questions or you wish me to cover a subject in more detail, let me know in the comments below.